Hey there YouTube, it's probably Ryan here today, and today I'm going to show you some iOS game save editing or modding as some people might say. Well, first off, that picture you saw before I started talking was the game Sniper Shooter, and the money that you see that has eight nines in it, that's what we're going to be editing. That was a multiplayer part that you saw, and we're going to be editing that today. So, at first, you see this link right here. This will take you, if you're running Windows 7, this will take you to your um, backups for iTunes, and that's where you want to go, so that way you can um, go ahead and, I'm sorry, you can go ahead and delete the backup so that way you're only dealing with one backup and it's so much easier to deal with one backup so right now we're going to move to iTunes alright guys now as long as you have your device in all you have to do right now is hit backup now wait for it to back up once it's done backing up you see a little Apple logo Exit out of iTunes and open up iBackupBot. Alright, now that you have iBackupBot located, now locate your app. So, I'm doing Sniper Shooter, so I'm going to locate Sniper Shooter. Alright. Now, it can either be in Documents or Library. Mine, in this case, is going to be in Documents. If it has a zero as a side, there's nothing in it, so don't worry about it. Now, you have to use like a little mind boggling thing. You either search through all of them or figure out which one you look for. The one I found out to be it was records, which is basically the whole app itself. So we're gonna I can do a really do that full screen. Uh if I can make it bigger. Alright, so you guys can see. Now you see all this being true. All I did was I hit control H, replaced I um I did find what false and replace with true so that way everything here is true and I even unlocked everything like I told you I believe in previous things uh, you can't really edit the trophies on here I found that out because it's multiplayer kind of thing uh, let me see did I make my uh, like I ended up playing with this a little bit and I actually really found out what you can and cannot change but in this case I'm just going to show you the money where is the money hold on uh it's kills I think I just passed it hold on that's our I'm right here wow I'm gonna need it. so I'm going to add so there's eight of them I'm going to add two more if this does not work then if you won't you'll probably not see was it three? Alright, yeah, it's nine. You probably will not see nines. Nines. You'll probably see like one seven or something like you'd see in Call of Duty when you do the max amount. But it'll basically you'll see the max amount of numbers when I take a screenshot at the end. So you see that change the value at least, and you're gonna see it's either gonna be nine nines or something bigger. Or something in that range, or something like the highest max I can get. Alright, so now that I saved it, you don't go ahead and restore device. You don't restore it at all. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit out of iBackupBot and we're gonna open up iTunes. Alright, so now that we're in our backups, all we have to really do is hit restore backup. And you see that I only have one backup, so that's fine, and just restore it. I'm going to tell you right now why quickly, basically in iBackupBot, the files don't really get restored, but when you do it through iTunes, it basically works so much better. I'm going to tell you this quickly, that iBackupBot's like the editor for your, for your backups, and then iTunes will just back it up for you. We'll back up that whole edit and make it so work so fine and it comes out good sometimes some values you know will not change like if you do a value and it does not change then you know you can't change that value and you have to do that manual you have to do it by yourself if you can change a value that means you can change at any time now for sniper shooter which is a game I would recommend getting if I were you 
you can go ahead and do so many random matches and say you want to buy you can change the diamonds in there too and you can change the values once you run out of the values you don't have to sit there and buy something you can just sit there and just go back to your backup back up your thing go to iBackup change the value to a higher value and go ahead and restore the backup and you'll have a higher value and you'll still have all your guns as long as you back it up and you just keep going higher up higher up higher up now like I said back when we're in I back up about the how I went back and um, made how I changed the tr the false to true when I did that I just did that to see what I would lock and the guns that they wanted me to buy on this app which were like 20 like 2499 1499 all that I changed all the values to true and and one of the values I guess were the guns and I unlocked the guns like I just purchased them for free so now I have everything I want unlocked in this game I'm basically like like I play against somebody and I can sit I'm fast I shoot I kill them all math with one shot it's it's actually a pretty fun game and modding it's pretty fun it's like modding on the Wii if you remember me for the Wii so that's it for i backup bot and itunes that's it for the game saves just look towards the end of the video which is going to be right now you see my music I just finished backing up you're going to snap now you can just watch my the end video see the picture of the changed app and that's it guys thanks for watching comment rate subscribe if you need anything I'm sorry for my voice sounding like it is, it's all dull and all that. But if you need anything guys, just comment. I think you can message me on YouTube or go to codeleakers.com, talk to me on there. And it's probably Ryan on there. Uh, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.